Hey foodies, welcome to Cooking Shooking. In this video, we are going to make mug cakes. These will just take 2 minutes of your time and the result will be all worth. You can see how soft and fluffy our mug cakes are and the taste is absolutely rich and flavorful. I bet you are going to love it. For that, you have to make it as well, right? So let's begin the video. Let's begin the recipe guys, first I am going to show you the chocolate mug cake. So here I have a mug in which I am going to make and eat it. This is a regular coffee mug guys. To make the cake you will require this type of measuring spoons. So the first step is to take 4 tablespoons of maida or plain flour. Make sure to measure it like this. To get the perfect results guys. So after adding the 4 tablespoons of the plain flour or maida, we are going to add 1 and a half tablespoons of powdered sugar. If you don't have condensed milk, then you have to use 3 tablespoons of powdered sugar. Now we are going to add the cocoa powder. Since we are making chocolate cake, we will require 1 tablespoon of cocoa powder. To make the cake extra soft and good, we are going to require 1 16th teaspoon of baking powder. Basically 2 pinches guys. After adding the 2 pinches of baking powder, we will add half a pinch of baking soda. Here I am using a fork to mix it really well. Now we are going to give it a good mix. Make sure all the baking powder, cocoa powder, baking soda is really well mixed with the maida. This looks good, now we are going to add the wet ingredients. First is 1 tablespoon of condensed milk. If you don't have condensed milk handy, then you can totally skip it in this recipe. Next we are going to add 1 tablespoon of milk, 1 tablespoon of butter. If you do not want to use butter, you can also use oil in this recipe. By the way, adding oil makes it extra moist as well. Next we are going to add half a tablespoon of cream if you do not have condensed milk then you have to use one and a half tablespoons of cream or malai yes you can use malai instead of cream now we are going to add a little bit of vinegar you can also use lemon juice if you do not have vinegar handy here i am using two drops of vinegar and to neutralize all the flavors we are going to use four to five drops of vanilla essence now use the fork and mix it really well. To have this heavenly dessert you have to do the effort of mixing it really well. After there are no lumps and everything is really well mixed, we will add one more tablespoon of milk. If you add the milk initially, then there will be lumps in the batter and if there are lumps then your muck cake won't be really nice in taste as well as in texture. So the batter looks good thick, luscious and perfect. Now it's time to cook it. By the way, if you want to add some choco chips or chopped chocolate, then you can totally add it. So here I have my microwave. This is on. I'm going to place it inside. Then we are going to cook it for one minute. The cooking time will totally depend upon the microwave guys. Some microwaves will get it done in less than one minute. Some will take more than one minute. Mine is a 800 watt microwave and it takes one minute. Look at the cake rising. Looks great, isn't it? This is done. Let me take it out. That looks perfect. Let me also show you how to make the vanilla mug cake. So here I have the mug. In this, I'm going to add four tablespoons of maida or plain flour, one and a half tablespoons of powdered sugar. As usual, if you do not have condensed milk, then you can use three tablespoons of powdered sugar some baking powder and baking soda after that we are going to give it a good mix using a fork now it's time to add the butter or oil condensed milk if you do not have condensed milk you can use cream one tablespoon of milk a little bit of vinegar half a teaspoon of vanilla essence and then give it a good mix Oops, I forgot to add the cream guys, so here I'm using half a teaspoon of cream. Give it a good mix to ensure the cream is really well mixed. 
After that we are going to add one more tablespoon of milk. Give the milk a good mix and then the batter will be ready. The batter looks just as luscious as the chocolate one. Now it's time to cook it. This again will take 1 minute inside the microwave oven which is of 800 watts. The batter rising more than double inside the microwave oven is something like a volcano erupting. Jokes aside guys our cake is ready let me take it out. Looks great isn't it? Both of our vanilla and chocolate mug cake is ready and it is super fluffy and soft. You can decorate the cake with some sprinkles if you want to and you can also add some ice cream if you wish to. Whatever you choose, these mug cakes are the showstopper. Just look at the texture guys whether it is the chocolate one or the vanilla one. When you can have such a nice cake in less than 2 minutes, nothing like it. So do try it and share with me how it goes for you, I am sure you will love this one. The taste, texture and the richness of these mug cakes is just fantastic. So hard to believe this just takes 2 minutes. So once you do try it, comment down below and share your experiences with me. I hope to see you in my next video. Until next time, make sure to click the subscribe button and ring the bell icon beside it so that you get notified about my next video. Do follow me on Instagram at cooking.shooking for regular updates. Bye for now. Take care. Happy cooking.